Hey guys, just got a couple more Yola paddles in uh, to demo. So I want to do a quick video to uh, show you guys my first impressions uh, to compare some of the features in case anybody is in the market and not sure which one to get. Uh, so you may have seen in my last video, I uh, did some initial info on the Ben Johns model, the uh, CFS 16. So this one here is the uh, CGS 16, and uh, it's got the carbon grip surface. And uh, to the touch, it feels actually pretty similar. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it feels pretty similar to the uh, CFS. Um, so this is the Vision 16 millimeter CGS. Um, this one goes for 169. Uh, I weighed it and it came in at 7.9 ounces. Um, they, they're calling this um, surface texture, it's carbon fiber and their, uh, their name for it is uh, the Carbon Flex 3, which is similar to the material in the uh, CFS Ben Johns model, the Carbon Flex 5. Um, so this one in the core, it has the Response Honeycomb Polymer. Um, here's some of, the, uh, some of the packaging info. I like how they do the, the ratings with the numbers and stuff. That'll help you compare. Uh, so that's that one. Um, oh, I also put this on my, my balance scale. This feels a lot more balanced, a lot more, um, sort of evenly balanced with the weight, uh, towards the handle versus the CFS Ben Johns model and the CAS. Also, it's a little bit smaller. I don't know why they did this, but it is, oh man, it's, um, 16.4 inches in length versus 16.5 in the other two. And then uh, 7.3 inches in width uh, versus 7.5 inches in both of the other two. No idea why Yola did that. It's a little bit peculiar to me. If this is the uh, control model, I would think they want to make it bigger, but um, maybe they will um, reveal that info soon and we'll figure that out. Um, and I haven't tested it yet, so maybe I'll uh, play with it and I'll figure that out. So this is the CAS 13.5-millimeter uh, model. Uh, this is also in the Hyperion series. Um, so this one goes for 159. Um, I weighed this. It came in at 8.17 ounces. Uh, let's see. This one also has the Response Honeycomb Polymer, same as the Vision. Uh, but this surface is much different. So this is the carbon abrasion surface. I don't know if you can see that, but you can probably hear that. So this is um, sandblasted, sandblasted abrasion, and it's you know feels like the Franklin Ben Johns model. Um, who knows whether it's going to be more durable or whether it's going to last longer? But it feels like it's got some pretty pretty good texture here. It feels like a chalkboard basically. Um, so time will tell on the, on the duration of that. Um, let's see. What about this one? So the, um, surface texture is actually a blend. It's a hybrid of carbon fiber and fiberglass. Um, and, um, here's some of the specs, some of the packaging info. I mean, you could find all this on the website, I think, but, uh, I don't know, I think they did a good job on the packaging, so why not show it? Uh, and um, in terms of the balance, uh, this one felt a little more um, end loaded towards the tip, uh, definitely more so than the Vision, and about the same sort of balancing as what is on the Ben John's CFS model. Um, okay, already did uh, a little video on this thing, at least the initial. Um, so in terms of the data, this one goes for 219. I weighted at 8.39, basically. Um, surface is the carbon fiber. They call this the, um, carbon flex five. 
which is slightly different than the Carbon Flex 3 in the Vision model. Um, in this one, the, the core is slightly different also. It's still a honeycomb polymer, but they call this the reactive core uh, versus the response core in those two. This is supposed to be a little bit livelier, um, a little bit more pop. Um, let's see. This one I talked about the balance. It's a little bit more end loaded. Uh, so, you know, comparing this to my, my old carbon uh, one, it feels a lot more end loaded. Um, so a little more power, a little more pop on the ground strokes. Um, this is the only one of the Hyperion series, or I think any of the Yolas that has the hyperfoam edge wall um, that goes around the edge here. And um, Ben uh, talks about it in his, some of his uh, podcasts and his review. I think this is very legit technology. I haven't used this a lot yet, but um, initial impressions are that the sweet spot is huge on this thing and uh, it's very solid. Miss hits towards the tip are very forgiving. Um, I'll do another video with more in-depth info on that, but that's my initial thought on that. Um, I think this is the only one with the, uh, with the carbon carbon forged handle too. The others have pretty standard handles. I think that you can see it here. Uh, this is, I think they just reinforced the handle with extra carbon fiber. It looks like a crack, but it's not. I think it's just extra material to fortify that, uh, give it a little flex, um, sort of taking that technology from what they did in their ping pong paddles. So, um, okay, so there's that. I'm gonna do some, uh, more playing with these and I'll uh, post some reviews. Also do some objective testing on Sweet Spot and, um, and Pop and things like that. And so uh, if you guys wanna like and subscribe, that would be cool. That would uh, get me closer to retiring my day job and do more videos like this.